Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, Psychic Artist, and this is your Psychic Insight and Guidance uh, for the week of Monday the 18th of April 2022. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, it's been a very, very busy time, very hectic for many people, but very similar to being shaken up and down in a snow globe, I feel. Um, things are very, very erratic and changeable, but why? Many people are considering that they're doing something wrong, they're on the wrong path, that things aren't working out correctly, that you know things are getting worse before they get better. But actually, this is a shake-up, literally. It is the universe picking us all up and shaking us about and saying, right, come on, let's get things in order. And this full moon that we've just had in Libra is, say, is, is all significant of that. It's important now to look at your shadow side, look at what you're really afraid of, look at what you're holding back on. And when you are able to detect that and understand that fully, you will see what has been going on. You'll get the clarity because all the shakeups will be linked to that. Or look at all the shakeups and find a common denominator. That's the easiest way forward. Instead of sitting there going, oh, my head, my head is mashed. What's going on? Oh, my life's falling apart. Um, you know, many people are kind of quest still questioning directions, but we have to be pushed into that direction often because, you know, if you don't know where you're meant to be going and you're asking the universe for help um, and for something to manifest, well, just trust that that's going on, you know, start opening your eyes wider than they've ever been before and look back to around October the 6th of what was going on there. Um, I did just that not so long recently and there's been many, many shakeups in my own life recently. Um, you know, everything's so hectic. I mean, it's been from delays from people to delays with the weather, you know, and everyone has seen, I'm sure, wherever you are in the world, how crazy this weather has been. Um, I mean, we, it's been the coldest here in Spain, probably, than it, it has been for a long, long time. And, you know, I've had one, uh, different things happening, one after another, and just when I get one thing sorted, something else crops up. And it's like, I feel like the, my guides are saying, right, we've sorted that, right, that's in the bag, let's get on with the next one. You've literally, it's like we've got this short time limit um, until, you know, we can, till something starts, like there's a refresh, a reset in the world. Um, now, we are coming into Mercury retrograde. Oh my God, oh my God, I can hear you all saying. Um, however, it's all been a little bit retrograde anyway, hasn't it? It's been very similar energy. Um, Imagine you are nervous and you are, you know, your heart, your your um, stomach is fluttering, you know, you've got butterflies, everything like that. Depending on your mindset, you will see that as a fearful or a positive thing. But ultimately, it's the same feeling. All right. So it's very similar. This is um, proof that it really matters less whether something is in retrograde or it's going at 100 miles an hour. Things are still out of sync. We've been so used to all the planets being upside down, round about and in someone else's pocket, you know, and, and that suddenly everything was moving forward at such a great pace. It was too fast, you know, but all these holdups and now it's all too fast. It's just gone from one extreme, you know, it's like out of the fry pan into the fire kind of thing. Well, we're now coming back into retrogrades and um, this is going to be a time again to take go inward. When everything is going fast, we're all looking outward. So we're probably looking at everyone else and what they're doing rather than looking at ourselves. But actually, that's the whole point. <laughs> with this, this is why the universe is coming in going, come on, come on, come on, don't forget this. Let's get on with this. Um, now, as an example, like I said, my life has been very, very hectic. And I just had a recent experience where um, I was really the last few months try really wanting to just get some work done i had three big jobs on all outside work and one had a deadline and the others i would have liked to have completed but they all kind of came at once and i was doing my best to plan to organize going to to do these paintings because i work in other places obviously i do online stuff as well and the weather just hit and every time i had a free space the weather changed um and finally, I had like a few days left to get this last piece of work in. Um, and at the same time, just as I had one more visit to go and finish this particular mural, 
um, and we'd had all this bad weather and the whole the place i mean spain or where i am is most of the buildings are beautiful white they're beautiful whitewashed things and this sandstorm came as, as it did in england as well as it did here and it, it's just turned everything kind of dirty and orange and so everyone's come back to their holiday homes and i was painting this face in the holiday home and they're all washing down the walls and just as i've done this beautiful piece in the sunshine i was quite pleased i thought i've got one more visit and it's done i've got two days and they come back bomb bomb right and then somebody decides to jet wash their terrace <laughs> And I had a message saying, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they've jet washed the top terrace and all this mud has come down. I was thinking, you are joking. Does that mean this mural has been, you know, ruined? Well, weirdly, it was completely protected. And that was my confirmation. However much mess everyone else said, that was confirmation that that was how it was meant to be. The timing was perfect. I went in the next day, bomb, 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 finished, did it. Um, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minutes later, I get a phone call about the venue I'm dealing with, with my art classes, which is a general thing. You know, it's a general income. Now they've decided to change things up and charge masses of money. Um, you know, and it's like, really? Um, so it's like one thing after another. We've had car issues, puppy issues, all this stuff. And, but what I did is I turned it round. This is what I'm guiding you to do. It turned it round to say, this is, you know, this is an opportunity. I was asking for change. I was asking for constant. I was asking for something that had continuity that I could rely on. And the only way to have that would be to have complete control and to bring back the power, take it back inside me and say, you know, this is my project. These are my classes. I, you know, I'm the person that runs this. You know, I've been giving out too much energy. Everybody's got to say, because that's what was happening as well. Everyone was kind of putting their opinions in at me everywhere as well. It's very, very distracting and distorted. And I saw it as an opportunity and it's, and then I got excited. So that massive fear that was like, oh, you know, what am I going to do? Was like suddenly, woohoo, you know, I can now, I can get rid of the dead words. I can clear out. So look at all your situations in this way. You know, if you've been looking for control, you've wanted more abundance in your life, you want more value, you want more fulfillment. What does that mean to you? You know, what is that <laughs> in respect? And what does that mean doing? And if something is being dislodged and you're being given an opportunity, it might have been taken. See, all these opportunities come often come at a loss. When you get manifest, you manifest something and you get great abundance, you, there's always a loss beforehand because there has to be an emptying, a dislodging, a disruption to create that new path for you. If you've got thousands of clothes in your closet and you're saying, I just, you know... I need to clear, you know, you're hoarding and hoarding, you're holding on and you want to, you know, feel good about yourself. You want a fresh style. Well, get rid of the old styles. Don't hold on to these clothes that you think are oh, fit into that one day or that'll be good for that. Think about now. That's another thing that became very obvious. This tiniest plan that I made was disrupted. It was like, just let go of it. Let go of everything. This full moon has been about letting go. Let go of your fear. If you're holding on to money worries, if you're holding on, you've got abandonment issues, if you've got guilt, if you've got, look at all those issues, those shadow sides of your nature. Uh, because then you will start being the master of your own plan. So much of what has been going on and so many people that I've spoken to, it's become very apparent that people don't trust their own decisions. Even myself, reorganising classes and structures and that, this still comes to a point where they go, oh, because what's happening is now the other venues coming in saying, well, we could consider this. It's like, no, 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 I made up my mind, you know, because my gut is saying, don't go back, don't go back, whatever they offer, you're free now. You can like do this all on your own back. You can, you know, what I've done is not... Now I'm not going to do two days a week. I'm going to do one day a week because I have no free time, right? Hence why I haven't been doing recordings. So the other type part of my work has been held off because I've been so drawn in by doing, you know, I'm taken up with these things that should be easy. You know, it should be easy and flowing, but lately it's become very difficult. So 
or challenging, should I say? We don't use that word. Right. Um, so really look at everything in your life. Look at what you want to finish. What do you want to achieve? How long would that project actually take? The one you keep putting off because you want to, um, you know, you think, oh, well, I've got to do this first. You know, is there a book you want to write? Is there a blog you want to write? Is there um, a painting you want to finish? Is there some clearing out or decoration you want to do in your house? Is there time out you'd like to take with your family? How long would that take to achieve and complete? And work out how long, you know, say, say it's going to take a week and all, right? Then look at your general schedule and your priorities and consider, okay, well, I've got, I have to do this. That's going to take up that time. That's how much free time now I've got left. How much of that time would I like to allocate? If I split, say, that week that I have to do it in or, you know, that amount of hours, how much, you know, how long would it take if I gave it kind of five hours a time or a day of that week? A whole day to just do that and you probably get it you know then you can say well I can now get it done in seven weeks and then it's done make one thing the priority okay and then then you will achieve the results and there won't be things saying oh well, I haven't got time I haven't got you know things you know I, I don't get things done are you taking small chunks of the apple or are you spreading yourself too thin New perspective is in order this week and onwards. And I've, there's so much sudden change here to show you new perspective. People's reactions, things being revealed. Fate is showing you your patterns, your addictions, the things that you keep going to for a quick fix. You know, are there people that you go to for quick help because you just want to have a moan? Because they're just kind of on your wavelength when you're moaning. Um, you know... <laughs> I mean, I mean, we all have that side of us, right? And, you know, when we want to have a good old, you know, we'll, we'll probably go towards someone who will, is like that. Like attracts like, guys. There's something I feel that can be put into place this week. Or like on a, like a legal matter, it's like creating your contract, your own legal contract. You are your own judge and your own lawyer. All right. Let go of the doubts. It's really important that you be loyal to yourself. But above all, remember what skills you have and what you've achieved. If you are trying to change a job and what you've done is taken on other jobs in the meantime to kind of build up a side business, then recognize how much you need from the side business to give you, you know, to satisfy the loss of the original thing. Don't keep adding more and more and more on because it's like you're waiting going, oh, I'll just make sure this is consistent first. I'll just make sure I can rely on it. But if you're the one that has created the work, you're the one that has gone out there and manifested everything you need, then you're the one that has control. You've created this. So why do you not trust yourselves? Everything is about trust in the self honoring the self, valuing the self, that you are good enough, that you deserve the best. I'm seeing a lot of passion coming through this week. I feel this is to do with the Aries energy that is around. This is about leadership. But like everything, you have that, you know, we, we can be at the highest point or we can be at the lowest point. There might be a lot of drama this week. You know, which one do you choose to take then? Do you choose to be the victim or do you choose to be the leader? All right. Really think about that. Go for what you're passionate about and nothing else. Put the money aspect out the window. Throw it away just for a minute and just look at what you'd like to do. It's that simple. There's an alarm bell coming off with one massive revelation for some of you. And I feel like this is about having peace, a peaceful new beginning. It's like, whoa, never saw that one coming. Or, oh my goodness, that was a bit of insight. Maybe it's a dream that's coming in, a guide that's coming in. And I'm seeing celebration where there's been a tug of war. Suddenly there's communication and understanding. I'm seeing... On a worldly scale, people meeting, big wigs meeting, you know, these kind of higher people at the top starting to have conversations to reconcile. 
because everybody's being hit with this energy. It doesn't matter how high up the scale you are, you know, high up the chain. Every single person, as I'm saying that, I've just got 911 numbers on my phone, just having a look. Every day, yesterday, I had double numbers every single hour virtually throughout the day. I was looking, every time I glanced at my phone, I saw the double numbers 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14. If you are seeing these angel numbers regularly, then that is a sign that you are protected, that you are being guided. And if it's that regular, and my it's been going on for weeks now, and I know for the few other people it's been happening the same, be aware of it. Be aware of that's the angel saying, it's okay, we've got your back. We're gonna be there for you, all right? It's all gonna be okay. Just keep doing what you love. Trust yourself. Honour yourself enough, because when you do that, you will get the best. Emotionally, there could be some big choices to make here. And I'm seeing some people getting quite low about it because it isn't easy. But once you do it and you move, you're going to move fast. There's a lot of, I'm just seeing lots of phone calls, back, back and forth, you know, decisions to be made as well coming in. There are some lovely rewards though as well. Um, and I'm seeing issues around the home where new patterns can be formed by, again, thinking about leadership, what's good for you. Um, some jealousy is going to come out. Speci really, if you're doing well, you're going to see, really, really see some signs of jealousy here. Okay, and realise that's what's been holding you back. Because the people or, you know, the individuals who may have been jealous have actually been wanting you to hold back, to delay. But they do it in a possessive way, a positive way, a flattering way to get you to to trust, you know, to, to hold, you know, to feel good. Okay, watch it when you're asking for people's opinions, all right, and asking for help. Still remain, um, again, true to yourself. You know, going back to the, the week I've had, I've had, um, like I say, so many things have come up. The other lesson that I've learned was to try, well, this has been the biggest thing, is about trusting my own instincts, right? I actually came like up against someone where I said, no, but I, my instincts are saying this. And, and the other person went, well, mine is saying this. And I thought, but that's got nothing to, mine and nothing to do with you. Do you know what I mean? It was like, really, that's just your opinion. And it was all around my puppy training. And um, for some of you may know or may not know that I recently acquired one just before um, Christmas. And it was a very, very instinctive thing. Uh, very faithful. Just saw him and picked him up, gone. Um, it seems a rescue. And, you know, when things are tiny and small, they're a lot easier. And then this this puppy's become bigger and bigger and bigger. And suddenly, you know, longer legs and more temperamental and, and all this kind of thing. And I've done a dog behaviour course. And, you know, I'm a healer and, I've you know, I've done all these different things. Um, and we, we hit a snag. You know, we had a bit of a odd time. But it was when all the chaos was happening in my life. I was so stressed. My husband was stressed. I swear we were going to just split up. It, it got to that point. It's like, you know, when you get a new baby in the family and or a, a difficult teenager is happening and it just, everyone's at each other's throats. You're all tired. No one's getting any sleep, you know. And um, anyway, I had this um, experience. Um, and what it was, was literally somebody saying something which kind of, was a little bit rude uh, about my boy. Um, but it kind of, because I was not really grounded and was really feeling stressed and tired, it upset me quite a bit. And some, somebody kind of went, oh, come on, don't worry about it. Um, you know, but this is what you've got to do. And they started giving me all these kind of um, information, you know, this is what you should do. You know, one of the options was put him in a cage. Now, I know that some people do puppy cage training and stuff like that. And we did that originally, but he was so distressed the first time I did it. I mean, it was so distressing. Um, and I'm talking the most extreme um, of anxiety um, that I stopped because I knew it was going to cause him more harm. So I, I did different things and he's absolutely OK with that. Um, but she was like adamant, this is what you should do. And I said, I'm not putting my six month old puppy back in a cage because it will trigger 
all of those emotions again and he will have exactly the same reaction it's not going to make it any better there has to be another way um anyway i got information you know we did tests and the vets and everything just to check he was all right but um i finally went to a puppy class um, on saturday which was so amazing and so helpful and i realized that all these opinions and all these things because one of them was about food which i listened to which actually disrupted his digestion so much that you know we were literally having wheeze every 10 minutes you know and i didn't understand that you know I'm like, oh. um but yeah because i listened to someone else's opinion because i wasn't trusting myself because i was out of balance I wasn't valuing that I was good enough. You know, all of those things. I'm sure if there's any young mums out there, you know, had a new baby, they feel exactly the same. And everyone's going, oh, you have to sleep. You know, you've got to leave, let them cry. And you've got to do this. Every, we're all saying the same with emotional attributes. Well, most of us, you know, we laugh, we cry, we do all of these things. We sleep, we eat. However, we are all individual and, you know, we are all brought lessons and people and things into our lives to help us. And I feel like this puppy's trained us, but it's trained, he's trained me to really put my priorities in order. And again, so let's go back, you know, to the original thing. What is most important here? What, what is the thing you want the most? And what have you, do you have to do to achieve that? And does that mean stepping away from certain people or things to make that easier? Because at the end of the day, you are not responsible for other people's happiness, okay? Even your own kids, um, except as long as you're happy and you are leading by example and you're doing things the right way and in, in a valuable way, that's they'll they will learn the best way. But at the end of the day, when they kind of reach sixteen or well to eighteen or whatever, they become adults. You are not responsible for making them happy. All right. Now, yeah, okay, we go back to conditioning. They could have been conditioned in certain ways, but it's they they're old enough to have an opinion to have a choice so it's not down to you and your fault or anything you have to feel guilty about once somebody is able to decide or make a choice then that is up to them all right so they can they can decide to be happy about something they can be decide to have their options but at the end of the day you're not responsible for doing everything in your power to make their life easier, all right? Because if that means your life being unhappy, then what is the point? Why is it that for some, some of us, we do not feel we deserve to have some happiness or we deserve to come first? Now, if you are in a moment, you know, wanting to make a decision about something and you know, you're kind of thinking, but what if it goes wrong if I do that? You know, what if it all goes wrong? Well, if it goes, it can, if you're doing what's right and then something changes, it doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. It can be the right thing to do it wrong. Does that make sense? Because you had to go and learn. So even if you walk down a path that everyone thinks, oh no, why are you going back to that person? But there's something inside you that says, I'm going back. Maybe you're going back for yourself instinctively because you want to see the worst so that you can finally let go. Consider these things. There isn't a, you know, as long as it's right for you, in that moment, it's the right decision. If something is thrown at you at a later stage and you you know, you can choose then, do I consider, oh, that's because I made the wrong point and that's the universe paying me back? No. If you go in with that intention straight away, thinking, oh, it's all going to go, you'll, you'll probably bring in all the, the wrong stuff. But what I'm saying, maybe it's just another level that you're learning. Maybe that was going to happen anyway. That was just destined because it was time for you to alter. It was You were only had to be in that position for a while. You only had to have that job for a while. You were only meant to be with that person for a while. It's time now to spread your wings. Look at the positives all the time. 
Now, this is going to be, I feel this latter part of the year is going to bring in so much opportunity. Already the industry is starting to move. Things are starting to happen. But there's also a lot of pileups happening as well where people have, you know, where they've gone too fast. They've jumped on other people's backs or they've wanted the power. They've wanted to. to they're greedy. They are, they're ending up going into a brick wall because they weren't looking for the right reasons, all right? But the ones that go for passion, the people that go for, you know, the love of themselves and the value will soon come out smelling of roses. Let go of thinking that that person over there or that, you know, the, a friend of yours or whatever is the what they always, you know, if you've heard this term, you say it doesn't matter how much they fall in um, C-R-A-P, they fall into S-H-I-T, they always come out smelling of roses. But do they? Do they just appear to be doing that? But are they happy inside? Because if you're not happy inside, then that isn't really, a, you know, that isn't a good place to be. Remember, beauty is within. It comes from within. Some things look unusual, extreme irregular but they're so beautiful in that irregularity so this week let go of having a tug of war that is unnecessary when you feel yourself wanting to go ah you know do i do this do i do that you know yes put the options out there get some opinions if you want however always remember what your the most important thing is to you you still have a choice. Just because somebody is an influence out there doesn't mean you have to carry, you know, their, you do what they want exactly. So I hope everybody is okay, has a wonderful week. If you'd like a private reading with me, then do go to my website, Sarah Perry Psychic. Dot com. Check out my artwork on sarahperryartist.com. Um, if you'd like a regular reading, there are good offers on the website. Um, you can have a regular monthly reading. A lot of people are doing this as it it keeps, you know, brings guidance to them on a regular basis. And it can, you can really focus on particular problems or issues. I wish you all the best and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.